Hello friends and welcome back to the Gamer Down. This is your host, Dark Hostess. And today we are looking at Silverwood for our artifact hotspots. And you'll see on my map here that I am at Overwatch Keep. If you've played uh, Guardian, then you know exactly where this is. And if you're a Defiant side, well, it is the very starting area for the Guardians. And I always usually start here with the Puzzle Tower. And if you've never done the Puzzle Tower before, you just go left. That's it. Just left, click on the plaque. And that's basically it. And the reason I usually start up here is because uh, most people don't check this place first. And uh, I generally at least find one artifact up here, if not two, sometimes more. Now, Overwatch Keep is definitely one of the hotter hotspots. I've pulled out more blue artifacts here than any other zone. Maybe it's just pure luck. And you see, I found the artifact in the tower. There's usually always one up here. I'm, I've never been failed. And actually, I missed one, I believe, uh, as I'm reviewing this video. Yeah, you got to keep your eyes peeled, you know. Even I miss, miss artifacts, and when I review these videos, I'm like, damn, I just passed one right there. And the way down is you just click on the plaque that is on the uh, railing right there. And I usually start right here, and what I do is I make my way around the sides, and you get a little bit better with, in time, and I recommend uh, using your slower mount. I, I should have, you know, <laughs> taken my own advice and uh, loaded up my slower mount, but... Nah, I, I just am too proud of my little shiny turtle. And it does help a little bit, you know, when you're going around these little tight corners and things like that. And, uh, you know, it is a little hard to navigate, you know, but you get a little bit better as you go. And uh, you want to have your health up too high because you probably will fall a few times, just like I am about to do right here. You know, you just cannot help it, you know. And there is an artifact right there, and you will find them all ar around the walls here. You know, you just cannot lose. There are always artifacts around the walls for Overwatch Keep. There, you will find uh, a plethora, a backpack full. And the only drawback is there's a lot of damn competition over here. Uh, there's always people hunting artifacts here, and there was somebody hunting artifacts as I was hunting artifacts. And if you look at what I'm doing right here, this is a little trick. Uh, don't tell nobody. And this is how you can look under walls and peer out without having to go all the way around. And can get a bird's eye view of uh, artifacts from the underside. Yeah, I know it's a little crappy, but... Ah, uh, yeah, it, you know, it, it does help a little bit for some of those tighter areas. And you can just... Uh, move your mount or whatever close to the wall zoom in and you can look pretty much underneath everything overwatch keep is for sure one of my favorite places i, I don't know why i like this place so much i, I guess because i've got so many blues here you just kind of grow an affection for a place you get so much loot out of and you see these towers that i'm going i'm proceeding up to right here always check the towers the towers are the second place that the artifacts spawn if they're not on the outside of the walls they are in the towers I'm telling you that now and you can uh, make make them spawn on the outside by looting the ones on the inside and vice versa so that's pretty cool huh yeah and uh, it's not as random as you'd think and what you what you can do is uh, you can just uh, click on these orbs here and it will transport you from tower to tower which makes it a heck of a lot easier to check out each one of these towers to make sure that there's any artifacts in there or not, you know. And uh, it makes getting around quite easy. Uh, you, you don't see me finding a whole bunch this time right now because I had a, some competition. There was uh, another person here just beating me to most of the artifacts. But let me tell you, there they are right there. But let me tell you that uh, there are just a ton of artifacts in this place. And... You just have to just go around and around and around, and you will, you know, find plenty. You'll find plenty, even when there's competition, you'll find some artifacts. And just try to, try to spread out, and like I always say, don't bug the newbies, 
because there will be newbies here and you know try to help them out you know if they're having getting mobbed by a bunch of NPCs then help the little guys out sometime you know you know how it feels to be a newbie and you see that what I'm doing I'm going from tower to tower and there's usually some up you know on these towers as well and what I do is I go down the stairs like this and I'll look around and if you're level 50 you don't have to worry anything about these mobs at all you can just let them beat on you or let your pet take care of them or whatever you have in mind you can kill them as well and get a little extra loot some of the artifacts are a little hard to reach and you have to be a little bit creative and like I've said in my previous videos the harder to reach artifacts generally you know are green or blue that's usually the case but it's not always the case as you see right there I just got some whiteies do you see that corner over there you do not want to go up this corner <laughs> you see how I fell down this is a trap right here this I've got stuck so many damn times on that corner uh, just avoid that damn corner you'll find it uh, eventually it's like a, a vortex it sucks you in and <laughs> I swear to God I've just got stuck on that damn corner so many times that I've decided to just not even screw with it anymore and here you see like the artifact and you know it's way over there and it looks really hard to get you know but you can do it you know you just have to uh, have a little practice and you know it's just no it's not as hard as you think and you know you have to be a little creative like you see that one that's on the other side of this pillar if you position your camera in, you know in the right way you can loot it from the other side you don't have to be right on top of an artifact and some of those harder to reach artifacts this is how you get them you you don't have to be right on top of them you have to get to the closest place you can and use your little hand to reach over there and speaking of that little hand you see that mine is not on the screen and that is because of fraps I accidentally turned it off because I'm doing another series and I do not want want it showing in that series so yeah little stupidity on my part and forgetfulness so eh, it didn't really take much away maybe you even like it a little bit better that you don't see my mouse whizzing all around but I'll rem remember to turn it on next time so you'll just have to forgive me for that and uh, to continue with this what you do is uh, you just keep going around the outer edge and as you see there was one way up there and I fell off well just you know no worries no worries at all if you just look right down you'll see that there's another one right here so you know you, you can fall off the ledge right onto another artifact literally <laughs> just like I did but I'm not gonna let that one up there get away of course not and once you fall off just you know go around you know there's always a path back up and it sometimes takes a little doing and once again like I mentioned in er, a little bit earlier you might want to use your slower mount you know using your faster mount you don't have as much control you got a lot more speed but you know you don't have as much control and let's see what we got here yeah was it worth the effort I guess so I got to get them all just like Pokemon or something and you'll see that my artifact finding has picked up quite a bit and that's because that other person finally hit the road yeah that helped but there's generally always somebody here and Newbies are usually just questing. They're not out hunting artifacts. So you don't bug them. They won't bug you. And, uh, you know, they if they find an artifact, they're probably not even going to sell it on the auction house. They're probably going to use it right then and there. You know, that's what I used to do when, <laughs> when I first found artifacts. I used every single one I could find, you know, to try to build my collection at the time. And you know that most other people are the same. You know, most noobs who are going through the noob area... They see the little sparkly, they find the artifact, and then they just add it to their collection and they never even make it to the auction house. So that's why this market is very good. I mean, there's something about the Silverwood artifacts that sell for very high, like four or five times the normal price of artifacts from even higher level zones. Uh, I don't know what it is about this place. Uh, somebody was offering 100 platinum for the Goblin Slave Harness, which also drops in this area. And you'll see the, inside the towers, you know, you'll find two or three, you know, maybe more. You know, so they just are everywhere in this keep here. And like I said, you always want to go check back in, into the towers. And if they're not spawning on, on the outer side of the walls, 
then they're inside of the towers. So, you know, vice versa. You always have to keep that in mind. And, and once you start collecting them, you start building this rhythm where they start spawning just like right as you're coming around the corner. You know, so it's pretty cool. You know, it, it works out. And the only thing that can disturb that rhythm is another person there screwing it up. And if you notice in my chat log there, one of those artifacts I got out of the tower was a rare, a blue. So that's like the fourth or fifth one I've pulled out of this joint. So yeah, yeah, this is a really great place to come. And the artifacts just keep a coming. The more you go around and around these towers, it just seems. They just spawn and spawn and spawn. Maybe not as rapid as Iron Pine Peaks, but pretty darn rapid. So this has been a look at Silverwood, and this has been Artifact Hotspots number four with your host, Dark Hostess. The channel name is The Gamer Down. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you again.